Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This time I want to show you something super quick that you can do on your iPhone and that is to create this color background to keep as a wallpaper on your homepage or your lock screen. The app we are going to be using is Procreate for iPhone and that app is actually called Pocket. So let's get started. Okay, so I really hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and open my app and then I'm just gonna open a brand new document. So click on this plus sign at the top here and I'm just gonna go for screen size because it's gonna keep the screen size and ratio of my iPhone screen and that's kind of the size that I need for my background anyway. Since this is just a color background, it doesn't really matter if it has the exact dimensions as my screen because I can always adjust it in my settings app. Alright, so I'm going to tap on modify, click on my selection tool, which is this third icon here, the little like S thingy, and down here you make sure that the option that says rectangle is selected, because what we want to create is a long rectangle, and then if you saw the background here, as you can see, it's just lines of color, okay? So we need to create those lines, and we can use that tool to do it. So let me start over. I'm going to draw a rectangle and now here because of my um, screen protector and just the way the iPhone is, it's not easy for me to go all the way to the edges, okay? You, I don't know if you can tell but there's a little gap in between the edge of the canvas and the rectangle so I'm gonna fix that later but just make a long rectangle and I'm going to add a color so in this case I'm just gonna drag this color that I have up there and I'm gonna deselect. Okay, now I want to grow this. Now you can tell that it's not touching the edge. So I want to make sure that both sides of the rectangle are actually touching or even passing the edge. In Procreate, when you have any image that leaves the canvas, it's just cropped automatically, so don't worry about making it too big. I'm gonna click on where it says modify, and then on my arrow, as you can see, these dots appear, and what I want is just to make it longer. Okay, so if I click on the middle dot here, I can grow the shape. I'm gonna grow it a little more than the canvas just to make sure that it's big enough, right? And then I can use my automatic guidelines here to center it. And once I deselect, if I select again and move it, as you can see, the extras were cropped, just so you know. Okay, now I'm gonna duplicate this uh, line and then change the color. So to do that, I'm gonna go to my layers here. And as you can see, I have my first line. I'm just gonna slide, so touch and slide to the left to click on duplicate. And then you have a second layer. Here I have two layers, right? One, two, but you can only see one thing here because both layers are exactly the same and one is on top of each of the other. So I can only see one line, but I have two. So if I click on my arrow here, then the one layer that is selected, so the shape on that layer is going to be selected. And the cool thing about Procreate is that I can control this by just swiping anywhere on the screen. I don't have to necessarily touch the line. And this is handy on the iPhone because it's a smaller space than on the iPad, for example, and then your finger is kind of like, you know, fat compared to the Apple Pencil. So it's hard not to touch on the points or do something else that you don't want. So I like the idea of just dragging anywhere else on the screen to control my line to make sure I don't mess up the size or anything else. And now what I want to do is just add it right on top of the other line and it's gonna be easier to see when I have a different color so let's change the color click on this blue dot and that's actually your color palette you have different color options that come with the app you can choose some from here or you can go to the classic I like this option to choose my colors so this lighter here will give you the main color so like from red orange yellow green and so on and then here you choose clear darker brighter you know you have different options of the same tone so let's see i'm gonna pick a purple as you know i love purple something like that done and then i have the color selected there all i have to do is drag it to my shape and that's gonna change the color now i'm gonna repeat the process and start adding different colors so i just copy my layer move it and then i'm gonna change the color i'm gonna go to like an orange here and drag it to that line one more time this time let's pick a pink maybe something like that drag it whoops and i didn't move it so now i'm moving it there we go and now that i have my four lines i think that's enough to repeat the pattern you can make as many lines as you want but for me this is going to be my pattern so i'm gonna go back to my layers and this time 
I'm going to group all of these together because that's my pattern. Before I do that, I just go and make sure that there's no wide gaps in between just to make sure that my pattern is clean. It looks like it is. If it wasn't, let's say that, for example, you have this box a little bit higher that you didn't realize and you would just go and arrange that to make sure that there's no white gaps. Then you can go to your layers menu and to merge all of these layers together and turn it into a single layer you can just tap on the on the first and last layer that you want to be merged and just pinch them together and as you can see this turned all of the layers in a single layer. So I'm gonna click on done and what this does is that now I can move the whole thing as a single piece. So I'm gonna bring it to the edge I'm going to go back to my layer, now I'm going to duplicate this whole chunk and then I can move it and actually I can see that this one is not all the way up to the edge so I'm going to go back and move that all the way up and move the second one you can also label the layer so that it's easier but I think this is quicker and I'm going to make an, a third copy, go to my arrow and deselect because I want to zoom out a little bit and then select and then go down and one more copy and this one is too big but it doesn't matter just bring the last color to the bottom to complete the pattern okay so that is my pattern now I have a thing like this line is smaller than the top pink line I don't know if you can tell this one is thicker and this one ended up being smaller just because of the size of the line so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna merge all of my layers again just like I did and then go back to my arrow and now I can grow this or modify it as a whole piece and what I'm gonna do is just get out a piece of the pink from the top just so that the top and bottom lines are like the same size this is like crazy me maybe you didn't even notice but I just want the pattern to be even which is funny because on my actual wallpaper I don't think it's gonna matter at all, but that's just something I, I do. I like things to be even. Okay, so that's it. This is my pattern, and the way I export it now is click on Modify on this wrench icon, and then Share, and then you can save as a JPEG or PNG. I think PNG is just always a smaller size, so that's a good idea, you know, to save memory space, and then just where it says Save Image, and this should be saved on your Photos app. Now, something I want to mention, it took me a while to realize that when I was doing this step, it was just not saving on my to my camera roll, the photo was just not saving to my camera roll, and I did not understand why for a while, and I realized that it's because in my settings for Procreate or for Pocket, I didn't have the option of allowing Procreate to like save my photo, something like that. So if it's not working, just go to your settings and make sure that you have that option on. Okay, so now go to your settings app and then scroll to find where it says wallpaper, choose a new wallpaper, go to recents and then you find your most recent photo which should be the background that you just created. Here you have it. Now you could adjust it a little bit, up, down or whatever it fits better. For example here I can make the time to be in a square so that it pops a little better. And that's it. When you're ready, click on set, lock screen or home screen, up to you. I'm going to go to home screen. And this is what it looks like. Now, another little tip, just because it's so easy to change the color of this whole pattern that we just created, I'm going to go to my layers and then just copy this whole layer to create a second pattern with different colors. And what I want to show you is that you pick a different color. Let's say, let's go to a, I don't know, something like a yellow, like a blue like this. A different color that you don't have here. I do have blue. Let me pick a green like that, okay? Then if I tap and drag on this dot and just leave it here, the whole pattern, like all of the colors, change color. Procreate does this where they select, you know, colors, I don't know, based on how, but they look good together. So that's a nice option because if you double tap on the screen, you're going to step back. From this, I went to this and I didn't have to choose each color individually and I think it looks pretty good. So you can save it if you want or you can keep experimenting and choosing different colors and combinations and then just drag it and see what you come up with. 
Now another thing you can do when you are selecting a color, so let's go something different, like a bright yellow. So if I drag the color, as I showed you before, all of the colors that are currently there are going to change. But if I move my finger without removing it from the screen, then more or less of the original image will have the color applied to it. In this case, it was only the one line. So what that means is that if I if I drag my finger to a color and then make sure that I move it to the left, it says color drop threshold is zero, okay? If I move it to the right, and then it comes 100 and then it fills the entire image with similar tones to the color that I chose. But if I keep it in zero, that means that I will be able to change each color individually, okay? And whenever I'm ready, I can go back to moving this to the right and changing more colors. And I actually like this background, so I'm gonna save it again to have it as an option for my wallpapers. So that's it guys, this is a quick and easy way how you can create your very own pattern using your iPhone and the Pocket app. I hope you liked this video, if you did please give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and if you have any ideas for a new video, anything you'd like to learn, please leave a comment below if you have any questions as well, I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Thank you guys and see you next time, bye bye!